Welcome back, Mr. Wayne. You can go on in. She remembered me. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back door. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Uh, Harvey? Uh, back here, Bruce. Uh, take a seat. I'll be right out. Oh, oh, too busy on, for me. Today. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> she has to stop. <laughs> Is it hurting? What's he doing? Uh, just a second. Well, it's, it's as good as it's gonna get. Uh, you know, Bruce, I've been looking forward to this my entire career. The day Harvey Dent takes his official portrait as mayor of Gotham. And he looks like this. Oh, God. I'm glad you survived the trip up here, Bruce. You want to tell me what's going on? I didn't keep you waiting that long, did I? I don't want to make it about me, but... Look, don't freak out, but... I think the children of Arkham are listening in on you. You're in danger. They could have tabs on everything that goes on in this office. Who you're talking to, where you're going, everything. Damn it! God, I knew it. I knew it had to be true. Bastards! They're like cockroaches. Oh, God. Those children of ours can jump me. God, it's only getting worse. It's out of control. I can't stop it. You don't have to stop them. You need to rest, really. Just like before, it's never enough. Harvey Dent does everything by the book. Oh. To the letter of the law. But that isn't working. I'm sure it is. He's turning things around. Barely. Slowly. I'd like to see you do better. Watch me. Now are you gonna fix this mess? Simple. Easy. Harvey, snap out of it. We all need to snap out of it! Sorry. S sorry about that, Bruce. I, I guess I got a little lost there. I'm probably not getting enough sleep these days. The stress. It's just the stress. Sure it is. Look, we're both under a lot of stress right now. We, we should be able to lean on each other. Stronger together, right? It's the only way. Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Oh, God. How does something like that even manifest? A different personality. Because, at least on the surface, it seems like Harvey's pretty well adjusted. Please, Bruce. Don't tell anyone about this. If anyone finds out or thinks I'm not fit to be mayor, it's all over. Everything I've worked for. Your secret's safe with me, Harvey. <sighs> Thanks, Bruce. I owe you. Again. <laughs> again and again. <sighs> See you around, Bruce. Man, this guy has it really rough. <laughs> he shouldn't be going to work right after that. Really. An interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. You can just be alone in here? Bruce? Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Perhaps she could be persuaded to reveal her source. Last time we talked, I gave her a pretty valuable tip. Sergeant Montoya's name. Though after this interview, I'm sure the police will become suspicious of all of Miss Vale's sources. And if they find out you leaked Montoya's name... True. We need to be careful. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. 
Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. My favor's for nothing, then. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who... who is this? Hello? Uh... A friend of Gotham. Yeah, just a concerned citizen wishing to remain anonymous. Or do I now have Batman for a friend? If you stand for Gotham, then yes. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. This whole room could be wiretapped. And he just made a call in here. Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. Nothing is ever this easy. I said I'd be here, didn't I? Uh, good to know. So, <laughs> Batman. I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Wow! Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. I didn't come here to be interviewed. I don't want this conversation recorded. I thought we were here for an interview. Turn it off. Fine. Their message is picking up traction, especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? <laughs> That's a good point. It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. They aren't trying to hide their motivations. It's all out there. Clear as day. Gotham needs to know how dangerous the children of Arkham really are. You are hiding the truth. Huh. My editor says the physical copies are practically sold out. I'd say the truth is getting out there. It just may not be the side you like. But that's why I'm here. To get the other half I'm missing. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. You can't anyway. I can't give you specifics. You're putting the safety of everyone in Gotham at risk. Well, if you really care about the safety of Gotham, why aren't you looking at Bruce Wayne? What? I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but with the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone, except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. No investigation. Why is that? Bruce Wayne is innocent. He's not responsible for what his father did. Maybe not, but he still benefits from That's it. That's not his fault. All those people suffered so that he what? could prosper up in that mansion of his. I'm not stupid. I know you have some connection with him. That data drive he gave me, that was from you. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. What do you want him to so, do then? What are you gonna do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people wanna know. That's enough questions. <sighs> Fine. If that's how you feel. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. She's not gonna help me, but I gotta try. <gasps> we are not done. Oh, I think we are. Hey, don't threaten her. God, I could lose my job for this, but... Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please, just don't... Tell anyone I gave this to you. 
That was a little bit easy. Uh, I feel like... This is too easy. She did something. I don't know. I don't feel good about this. Maybe she put a tracking device on the paper or something. <laughs> oh god. Sky train. Everything's dark. Quiet. It's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham? They may not have gone far. They should be there. No security, no emergency staff. If Vicky's right, it shouldn't be this quiet. Be on your guard. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. Just because they met here, there's a body here. Doesn't mean Likely the work of the children of Arkham. This is where they work. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. Hmm. He's been dead for a while, from the looks of it. One of the children of Arkham. Loyalty doesn't get you much with these people, does it? Seems strange. Oh. There's something else. Look at his arm. The... the stuff again. He was shot dead center. Twice. Executed. It outlived his usefulness, I suppose. This man's veins. They look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only... They're so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? The gunshot? Could it be that? He did get shot twice. They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. Hmm. This depot is pretty centrally located. Are they transporting the drugs using the Skytrain? A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27 minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good at all. Oh! These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. Hmm. Shrapnel? Chemicals? Maybe I can link that with the body. Someone's been practicing chemistry. Right here? Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. Same drug? This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. Dermal permeability, yeah, that's how the thing got into that guy's body, without an injection site. This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now. Ah! They might want to use the tank to transport the chemical. Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. <gasps> Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. Wow, we gotta stop this. They plan on sprinkling it everywhere. Let's start trying to connect some of these. So maybe... This. Drug confirmed, no injection. With the dermal permeability thing. They're manufacturing the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. Mm-hmm. 
And they're putting the drugs into the barrels? Traces of both chemicals here. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. Huh. Then we have this one left and the transportation route. They want to send it to Mercy Station. The modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin, it will affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They could infect the entire city if they had enough. Good thing you reduced their supply at the construction site. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming. Take cover. Maybe we should have hit the barrels while we could. If I'd known you were gonna make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Whoa. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. We're down to our last few barrels since Batman screwed up the transfer. We'll have to make do, I guess. Okay, you two, get these mixed, loaded onto the train. This way. Their leader is here, with Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. Well, she was never a good guy, right? She plays whatever side meets her needs. Currently, her needs seem to be focused on keeping all nine of her lives. Fair enough. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobblepot. <laughs> Death might be preferable. If he really wanted to do it, he would do it anyway. I know what you had planned with the Skyrim. It's not going to happen. Then killing you both will have to be a consolation prize. Thanks, Bats. Train's ready! Move up! Catwoman not helping at all. I'm just doing my own thing. Woo! Oh! Don't get ahead of yourself. I decide when this ends. Who is this guy? <laughs> ah! <laughs> You have to face the truth sometime, Batman. You can't protect Gotham from itself. They lit the fire. We're just here to stoke the flames. Saddest thing is, they don't even see the smoke. 
The people of Gotham are stronger than you think. They won't let this city fall into chaos. You'd be surprised. Fear can be incredibly persuasive. Go on. Show me how you save your precious city. I Just will. Like the other liar. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Can I use my special? <laughs> These are actually kind of fast. So short sighted. Batman. Catch. Oh. <laughs> Bye. out on me oh god look at the gash come on bats sort of gone after shut up yeah. I'm gonna get you somewhere safe oh Just come on me. we should have gone him he's right I would have been okay I know. Come on. Whoa, you're so uncareful. <sighs> Stay here, okay? Just don't move. I'm fine. I just need to get back out. <clears throat> that might work on your butler, but I'm not buying that crap. Stay there. Look at her mirror. Why is it broken? <sighs> Shit. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? Uh, huh. What? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. You weren't gonna take them down on your own. They would've killed you. <laughs> You're one to talk. <laughs> I never pick a fight I can't win. Fair enough. Oh, God. <laughs> ah! I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here until morning. I feel like I owe you anyway. That's twice now. You just keep adding things to my list, don't you? Selena. I told you I don't like owing people. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. With their leader? I had a plan. Really didn't need you swooping in and messing it up. He was addressing me. I was there, tracking the children of Arkham. I had no idea you'd be there. 
must have been quite the surprise. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That was gonna be my ticket out of here. Now it's gone. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. There is another way out. We can take them down together. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute? It would. The dynamic duo fighting <laughs> crime. <laughs> Being serious. I know. Things have a habit of not working out for me on the duo front. Oh, look who's back. Hey, little one. I don't think <laughs> she likes you. <laughs> okay, she really doesn't like you. Yeah, well, you've got most of Gotham behind you on that. Well, not most. Maybe half. Just trying to be optimistic. <laughs> Cut it out. Half of Gotham hates Batman. The other half hates Bruce Wayne. This really hasn't been your week, has it? <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. Oh. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Good point. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something just beneath the surface. I'm starting to see that for myself. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world and won't let anyone else see? Yeah, well, the difference is my secret doesn't hurt anybody. And then you're better than most. You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. Proving I can. You're just listing all the things I like about you. <sighs> now you've ruined it. <laughs> what? Nothing. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but... I've taken plenty from good people, too. <laughs> For what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town. The high is nice, but it wears off. Just like you said, right? Then you look around and see. We all have our own secret. Nothing. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. But it never amounts to anything, really. You're not alone, okay? I'm here for you. Whoa, I didn't mean for her to come out like that. Thanks, Bats. Hmm. Uh, I don't... I guess the forehead one didn't really matter. <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll make it up to you. Do I have to do all the work myself? Or are you gonna undo this for me? I think I'd rather watch you. 